Yo, 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 shout out to the PVV. Uh, follow him. Do his subscribe to his channel. See you my street. You know, Real Six says he's going to break the street uh, on on Saturday at noon. He's like, nah, Danny ain't gonna fucking find you. So yeah, so let's talk about you know, that. You know what I mean? Cause you you Goldberg, you Goldberg right now. And when Goldberg's like one two hundred and some. Could nobody fuck with this nigga? You know what I'm saying? So you, th so real sick. He think he gonna beat your goddamn record right now. You know what I mean? Because yeah, that's something um, to do right now. You know what I mean? He, listen, he he wants people to want to be like, yeah, I broke Danny Street, but I have other plans. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you should, I don't nigga. Give what he, I don't give a fuck what he's talking about. Like you're you're new here. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I'm I'm not new to battle rap. Right? You are. You're still learning shit, and I'm gonna teach you some shit on Saturday. And like, I've been really in dojo mode, like, like the sensei. I'm in the fucking battle rap sensei mode right now. I'm the old man with the beard, with the one hand behind his back, whooping the glass ass, and can't fuck with him. <laughs> and I'm just showing him. Now like, one, one nigga at a time, line him up. Out the game, but what you think about real sick? You know what I mean? Because like you said, he a young, uh, a young oh. nigga in his thing of ours called battle rap, but he does have a potent pen. You know what I mean? But you, you know what I'm saying, oh, I know okay. you the bar now, guy, but now. what you think? Well, yeah, absolutely. He's very dangerous. He is the toughest challenge that I definitely will have faced uh, this year. You know what I'm saying? 2021. Mm. Mm. He, he's really the toughest one. I cannot discredit him. I cannot sleep on him. I know what he's... I've been watching his progress. I've been seeing what he's doing. But the thing is, like I said, I've, I've battled the pin. I've battled JC. I've battled Chilla. I've battled Nitty. I've battled B-Dot. I've battled Quano Fitch. I've battled Jonah. I've battled Frank Pike. I've battled XL. Damn. I've battled O-Red. Yeah. I've battled all the pins. Pin niggas, yeah. In the world, damn near, it felt like four of them. You know what I'm saying? So what he's what he's bringing to the table, I done seen all this before. What I'm about to bring to him, he's never he's never been in front of. That's that's it's just a, the experience is gonna be the difference. Mm -hmm. it, it's like just cause you just cause he gonna be in there says cold ass shit, it still gotta be colder than what I'm saying. Yeah. And so just cause he says some cold shit don't mean he won. Right. Right. Rapping good. Being good in a battle is inconsequential to the outcome of the battle. Mm. Keep telling people this. Like, you can be good in a battle all three rounds. That don't mean... That's why they had this thing called Gentleman's Thirty. <laughs> this is yeah. why Sue Surf said this. It's like... A 30 is like where you really get love every round kind of clear or you might have got beat down bad, hockey bad, or whatever. And there's a Gentleman's Thirty where you was actually fired every round but your man might have just been a little bit more fired than you every round. So you got to move every round. So I think this is the scenario that this is going to be, where he does great every round and I just do better every round. I so can... it'll be another 30. And then I'm going to just, I'm, you know, I'm waiting on Lux. I know Lux ain't going to come outside to eat battles. I ain't going to play that. Now, out the so, gate. So what about the people that might think that uh, cause you know what I mean. Battle rap is is way different now. You know what I mean? Because some people might think the real sick could beat you, or he, if he matches your performance, he will win. Because you know how when it comes when you come from an older status and you've been here before right. the younger nigga, you just supposed to just demolish this nigga. But the nigga can have one good round or maybe even one right. and a half or two, but they will might give him the win. What do you think about them type of? Fans that think like that because all fans think different in the yeah, state of ours. Yeah, I think ours. sometimes people just be wanting, you know, give somebody a round or give them a, a whole battle just to make them good. It's like, nah, I'm from the era where you had to earn the win. Nobody gave you nothing. Like you didn't, you didn't get a win. Like, yeah, because you're, you're at this level, you're expected to be good every time. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to be good. You're supposed to go in there and say some fire shit to me. Every time, every round, like so, real sick. He he know what he got to do, and he's going to do what he's supposed to do. But it's up to me to show the difference between what he's doing and what I'm doing. That's a fact. You saying that's the that's, so that's the that's the OG? Yeah, that's the OG right there. I can I can rebuttal. 
You know what I mean? I got I got veteran tricks, veteran moves that I that, that I can use to my advantage and just flat out experience the, the fact that the composure that's one of the most underrated aspects of a rapper that they never bring up. They always bring up people like Gucci and they, they angle thing. Uh, they bring up, oh, he's funny, or he got swag, or he got personality. They don't bring up composure. That's a because fact. That, that's probably the first thing you need before you even start rapping. You yeah. need composure because somebody go in there and say, hey, nigga, fuck your game, mama, nigga. You got to be calm. Yeah. <laughs> a, a nigga in there just look you in your eyes in front of the whole world and you fuck your game, mama, nigga. Like, you, the ass, like, the average man is just gonna naturally just get and swing on the nigga. Yeah. Yeah. So, if they own that. Yeah. Don't you know, at each other. Call each other bitches, bitch ass niggas, hoes, bitches, pedophiles. We call these niggas all kind of shit. And so, when the crowd is like, oh shit, like it's a thousand niggas in the world, it's a billion niggas at home watching this shit live, and you gotta maintain your composure. He just shake that shit off like he like he didn't even say nothing. Yeah, like you gotta have tough skin to do to do this at a high level for real. Cause sometimes nigga might say some shit to you that can really shake you up and, and make you lose focus of your job. And then now you forgot your round. You been there choking, stumbling, trying to remember your rap. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's, it's, and it's cause you got shaken up. You should have stole my. Nah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, composure. Because we don't really talk about that element in this thing of ours. You know what I mean? Because I'll be watching you. You it, look at me. It could just be a dope punchline that everybody's reacting to. And that could like, shake your confidence. Like, damn, this nigga. Yo, mm-hmm. this nigga really. Got some shit. Not dope. Not shit. Not bad. Not shit. That can shake your confidence, so. Hell yeah. Because niggas actually feel that punch. He didn't yeah, actually I, I, punch you, but you felt that punch like shit. Yeah. If you actually been in a fight and nigga hit you with some shit, like, God damn, nigga, that shit hurt. But all right, we got to keep fighting. Yeah, a nigga didn't physically punch right, but he, he felt like yeah. not God. Coming, so yeah. it's like. Hell yeah. Composure, I'm because I be watching how that. you be composed, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm, you, you're I'm, looking, yeah, you're yeah, looking yeah, nigga, with your hands behind your back. Right into his motherfucking right. eyes. You know what I mean? Right, that's, that, that's exactly what I do. Yeah, and that's I see like, you cut the ring off on niggas when niggas about. try to... Go ahead. Right. Yeah, I cut the ring off. I, I see. don't give him no pain. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Shug sat there and talked about my daughter being a stripper. You know what I'm saying? He talked about that for pretty much most of his first round. And he was like, he thought that if I him saying that, that I was going to get mad or it was going to shake me. I didn't do shit, but we both. Rebuttal. Both. You know what I'm saying? We both pole lift. You said some shit like that. Like, yeah. <laughs> we both pole lift. Right. Like, <laughs> like um, yeah, If anything, he it, gave you something. He gave you something. Pause. You know what I mean? Like, oh, no, nigga. Right, right. What? Nigga, watch me flip right. the fuck out this. Right. I'll flip this on you. This don't hurt my feelings because you saying my daughter's stripped. Nah, that's real shit. That's real she's shit. She's a grown woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, it's not like my teenage daughter out here. You know what I mean? This is my grown, this is my oldest child. You know what I'm saying? She got her own crib. She got two fences. She, she, she's living life, bro. And then out here picking up niggas for nothing. So, that, that don't hurt me. Like, yeah. fuck Yeah, she out here she hustling, fam. Yeah, she, yeah, she hustling. I, I'm not proud of, like I said, I told you there earlier, I'm not proud of what you do. I was, of course, rather, but, you know, that, that goes with, you know, father not being here. Like, what, and so shit, what I'm saying some real shit. She was damn like, you know, she um didn't have a dad in her life, and that's what she thought. But I, I do understand that that part was true, but that didn't hurt me, because I also know me not being there wasn't on me. Yeah. It was, you know, just, it was her mom yeah. taking her moving her to Atlanta and cutting off contact with me her whole life. So that was that you know what I'm saying? So me re- reuniting with them on stage at uh yeah, versus, yeah versus Kang, yeah. Versus Kang, yeah, re- me reuniting with my daughter and my son. Like that that was real shit. That was yeah. like real 
shit. And he was and like, bro, I wouldn't even touch that. It's like, that was just too real. You know what I mean? But, you know, when you in, in this thing of ours called battle rap, anything can be an angle. Like, I wouldn't even. Yeah, anything is an angle. Yeah, it don't matter if you work at fucking, if you were like Bob Nitty, if you work at Walmart, or if a nigga catch you at a job, a nigga gonna use that as an yeah, angle yeah. on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I go, if I'm, if I'm a car mechanic, I'm like, wait a minute, then you're a fucking mechanic. Like, they'll use that on you. It's like, as a battle rapper, you can't have no job. No, you can't, bro. You can't, like, you can't be a paramedic. <laughs> you can't do you shit. Better not be, like, you better not be working at McDonald's. You better not be a fucking uh, nigga that work at lift boxes at Amazon warehouse. You can't do shit. You better not be working at Foot Locker. Yeah, niggas will respect the unemployed battle rapper first. Like, that nigga ain't got no job. Well, shit. Well, shit. At least he ain't working there. But that nigga, ain't, he has no income. Like, that nigga got four kids, fam. Like, fuck you know, are like, you talking hey, about? These niggas are so immature. It's like, bro, I'm grown, bro. I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas be talking. I'm getting, I'll get my money. I, if I got a mop floor, I'm going to get my money. Shovel shit. If I got a cut, I'm going to get my money. Y'all grass. If I got to cut, cut your if I gotta cut your crap, take your trash out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some legal money. You feel me? Man, I'm, exactly. I'm getting to the back. But that's it. See, but you're a mature but, adult. But, but battle rappers don't look at shit like that. They just see everything as, oh, wait, wait, this is your cut grass? Oh, nigga, watch what I say in my first round. Yeah. Somebody got <laughs> him on crazy lawnmower bar. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna make him quit his job. You know what I mean? He making money uh -huh. under the table. Ooh. Nigga, you talking about you out here? You 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 claim you like the mag thing, nigga? You cut grass and your shirt got a bunch of grass, grass stains, things, nigga. nigga. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute, you a heart surgeon, nigga? <laughs> How dare you, nigga? You make like 150000 a year? <laughs> you ain't no street nigga. <laughs> you, you spit on work. <laughs> you don't bust shit. <laughs> what, nigga? That shit be crazy. Said, that... Nigga, I got heart. You fix heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difference, nigga. It's a big difference <laughs> over here, nigga. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck you do, my nigga. Nah, real like, shit. No. That that makes the game goofy though. Like niggas can't have like legal income. Everything has to be illegal. Nah, it's you like, can't have no legal income. Everything gotta be it comes from drugs. You if know what I mean? But they want us to cause this fucking thing of ours <laughs> called battle rap. We have it's to crazy because a lot of drug dealers in a pen to tell you that like that's that ain't the way to go about it. No, you, and they've been there. I done lost Twenty years of my life. You know what I'm saying? To the system because I was out there doing that. You know what I mean? And Real like shit. That, when I battled Sug, well, if you notice, in my third round when I battled Sug, I was talking about me giving away 12K and being in the dope mm -hmm. game and, and doing all this. And I said, I got out the game so I could see my kids graduate. And that's real. And, that, and I was I was just saying some real shit in that's my third. real, bro. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's real. So are you going to have this same approach? Versus Reed Dollars, and this is a legend as well. You know what I mean? Y'all both was on the slab, fam. Y'all come from the slab era, fam. You know what I mean? Back, back. The me slab Reed, era. You're talking about that battle today, man. Me, me and Reed was literally. And you've been around your, you've been around your out for the last couple of days. That's crazy. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, we also, I mean, even though we joined the war, we we also worked on that day. We got a job to do. Matter of fact, let me get Reed to. Shot you out right quick. Oh, Hold that's up. love, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, give me one second. That's love, bro. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's your boy Reed Dallas from me is now in the building. Shout out to PPV, nigga. Carrier Tubman, Philly. Put your 3D glasses on then, pussy, because you know we coming straight at you.